Hello, I'm Frances Harding and I am very sorry that I'm not going to be seeing you all at the Young Adult Literature Convention this year. YALC has an amazing and unique buzz and energy to it, so I'm, I'm really going to miss the excitement of the event, not to mention all the fantastic cosplay. But right now all I can really do is wave at you all through the ether and give you a few tips for aspiring writers. Now, the first tip is the most important one. Be stubborn. Write when you don't feel like it. Finish what you start. Keep sending off your work and never give up. Second, read widely. In fact, read like crazy. Read things that you don't think are your kind of thing because the more different voices you're encountering as a reader, the better your chance of finding your own voice as a writer. Third, inspiration comes from everywhere. I've ended up getting story ideas from overheard conversations, weird things in museums, street signs, dreams, anecdotes my friends have told me, places I've been, and sometimes little happenings in other people's lives that I've glimpsed just for a moment. So it's worth going around your ordinary life with a part of your brain always thinking like a writer and always trying to notice all the little oddities and details that other people don't notice or don't think about properly. Try asking yourself questions about the things you see. Like why, why is that tree growing out of that wall? Why is that road called White Woman Lane? Why is that man with the violin case in such a hurry? And then come up with interesting answers to those questions. Fourth, don't be afraid of research. If you're writing about something that you don't know all that much about, Google it or find a book on it. If you actually look into something properly, then you end up being able to describe it in more believable and detailed and concrete ways. It just, it fleshes out your story a bit and often it gives you a lot more ideas as well. And not all the search is reading. Um, I've ended up scrambling up and down active volcanoes, exploring cave networks and learning how to make cheese while researching my books. Number five, get feedback. I don't know about you, but if I've been working on a piece of writing for a while, I get to the point where I can't see it properly anymore. And then it's really handy just to give it to somebody else and get their feedback. And if we're honest, we can usually tell if somebody else's criticism is basically right. It's never much fun having to change one's writing, but it is an important part of being an author. Anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic summer and I hope we all get to meet again in Yalk 2021.